Russia and Ukraine say they're hoping for a gas deal this week. Unpaid bills are threatening supplies to Europe and stoking conflict in the region. A deal is expected to ease tensions between Moscow, Kiev and the West. Daria Bonachuk has more. Speaking at the press conference, the deputy chairman of Gazprom's management committee said that Gazprom is ready to supply Europe with all the gas it may need in the coming decades. Moreover, he said that the gas exporting monopoly is hoping to increase by 2 percent its 30 percent share on Europe's gas market by 2030. If we look at the long-term perspective, there are over 4 trillion cubic meters of gas already contracted in long-term agreements. We'll have to add to the import forecast. By 2025, Europe will need to import an additional 170 billion cubic meters, and by 2035, 225 billion, which reflects the gap between the demand and internal production. Mr. Medvedev said that the first tranche of payment for the gas debt is a good sign and indicates that Ukraine is taking its debt seriously. But at the same time, he repeatedly refused to comment on a possible price or discount for Ukraine, saying that talks are underway and any comments may harm the negotiations. We are doing everything possible for the process to go in a normal way. Of course, it is good when they start to slowly give you money back, but there is an agreed sum that should be repaid, and it hasn't been repaid in full. More than $1.5 billion still has to be repaid. Gazprom said it has been flexible in talks in order to give Ukraine room for maneuvers, but at the same time it stressed it cannot be too soft and will stick to a hard line in order to strike a deal with its counterpart on the best conditions possible for Russia. But the two sides still disagree primarily on the price to be paid for gas. Daria Bondarchuk, CCTV, Moscow.